Hey everybody, it's Michael with Hemi Brothers. I'm here to get to tell you guys something exciting uh, that's going on today. We are beginning our uh, robot project. So this morning I got done milking cows. Uh, for anybody that doesn't know, our cow housing is back here. Um, I put the cows in the barn. It's a compost bedded pack barn. And I was walking up to the house here and I, through the fog, I could see some trucks and trailers pulling up. And those excavators guys come in to start to work on the pad here. So they, uh, we have this alley that <clears throat> goes to our uh, milk barn, our existing milk barn. And it goes all the way up through here and wraps around the corner of that barn. And it's over there on the other side of this big red barn is where our milk barn is. And um, so they came in here and knocked out this uh, alleyway and um, piled up all the concrete. They're gonna use that for fill, I guess. Uh, try to crush it up a little more and do that. So they started um, filling the pad here. Uh, you can see these red panels I got set up. Uh, while we're doing this project, we're gonna have to route the cows um, around the project. And so we used our panels and I just went and picked up our neighbor's panels um, so that we can follow these cows around the project while it's going on until this project's done. So um, for you guys that don't know much about robotic milking, it's a voluntary milking system. Uh, currently right now we milk twice a day, 5 a.m., 5 p.m. And we bring the cows up uh, down this alley twice a day to go get milked. Um, and milk them in a, in a pair of bone parlor, a double 18. Um, so the way to work with the cows um, in the milk barn now, they will walk up this alley and come in here where there will be a stationary robot that they'll walk into and it will milk them voluntarily. They'll be incentivized to come in and get milked with the um, incentive of having uh, grain provided to them through the robot. So it's an exciting thing. Um, it's been a lot of planning here the last several months. Um, lots and lots of phone calls, lots of visits to other dairy farms to go look at different ideas, talk to a lot of farmers, talk to a lot of experts about what can be done. Um, but we decided to put the facility right here because we'll still be able to have the cows haul the milk essentially and walk up here and uh, get milked here, and then the milk will get pumped past this barn and down to our milk house, which is right down here. So the line will actually travel over this lean-to, go down, go into our milk barn, into the milk house, into the tank, and it'll get pumped over into our creamery building. So we'll still be able to do that. If we put the robots back there at our cow housing, we would have better um, cow visits potentially. Uh, the problem with that is we would have to have a bulk tank back here and have, uh, have to haul it ourselves from here up to there. And we didn't like that idea of having to haul it just, you know, a few hundred feet. You can't pump milk from back there all the way up to here. So our solution was still have the cows um, haul the milk essentially and bring them up to here. So that's our plan. Um, yeah, like I said, it's exciting. Um, see the equipment here and to get the fill in here to start um, seeing the ground get broke and <laughs> break up the old concrete that um, is still good concrete, but um, it's obviously gonna be in the way of what we wanna do now. So it should be, um, it's good. I'm, I'm very excited to see some progress coming along here and um, stay tuned and we'll, we'll do some more videoing and bring you along for the ride. There's the girls coming up the alley to go milk tonight. First time walking them around the construction site here. They're not sure. Hopefully someone just leads them all the way around. <laughs> Take a little bite of grass. One thing about cows, they do not like change, and this is a big change. But they don't seem to be doing too bad. 
Hopefully they keep going. Hey girls, keep her moving. Hey, 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 come on, move it up there, move it up there. Hey, oh, come on, take a left hand turn. There you go. Somebody's smart. Good job. Come on, ladies. Come on, Buggy. You know, well, this is Buggy. Cause she's got bug eyes. Sorry, Buggy. Not hating on your looks. Come on, girls. Here we go. Keep her moving. Well, that is built. The excavation crew just uh, pulled out of here about a half hour ago. Um, yep, she's all steamrolled and ready to go. So we had to bring in quite a bit of fill. I don't know how many loads it was, but it was a bunch. <laughs> they um, had to uh, bring in a lot on this end because we knew we were going to be low on this end. Now, <clears throat> the robot will sit in the center of the building here, but... Uh, We'll be sloping this loafing area that'll be over here. We'll be sloping it to the one side towards the drain to make it easy for cleaning up. So we'll be taking a lot of this fill out. But uh, uh, the concrete guy wanted a nice level pad, so a nice level pad is what he got. So, um, yep, she's ready to go. Um, we can use some of this other fill that we'll take out whenever we put that slope in for the holding area. We can use that for whenever we pour some concrete here to get the cows into the building here and whatnot uh, able to ramp that up a little bit and whatnot so um yeah hopefully we're going to get some uh concrete poured next week depending on how this weather goes i know this time of year it starts to get pretty darn cold and be a little hard to work with but hopefully it'll work out for us so anyways guys uh appreciate you watching and uh, hope you have a good day